Hi everybody. Hi Wel everyone. Welcome to trivia. We always love to do trivia. It keeps our minds going. Today we just have basic trivia. We printed out 30 questions. She's going to ask. No, we printed out 20 questions. 30 was too many. Mm -hmm. That's right. We're each going to ask each other 10 questions. Test your trivia knowledge. These are random. They're not a category. Just some trivia to get your mind thinking. So you want to go first? Okay. We'll go back and forth, back and forth. See, you can be on page, team page or team Cynthia. Oh, let's see. Let's see how we do. What are you going to do with my pen? Your pen? What do you I need have, a pen I for? I had a pen. I was going to give it to you. Oh, here. You, oh, you already know what you're going to give I me? already know my questions. Okay. Okay, go. Okay, here we go. You want me to keep score, Cynthia? Okay, page. let's see. Okay. What Wild West female sharpshooter's name was originally Phoebe Ann Moses? The only female sharpshooter Wild West I know is Annie Oakley. That is correct. Woo Annie Oakley. Annie Oakley. I love random trivia. All right, you ready? Yep. What newspaper motto is all the news that's fit to print? Motto? Yeah, it's a newspaper. It's a famous newspaper. And their motto, motto is all the news that's fit to print. Hmm. Like the daily news or the name of the newspaper? Yeah. Um, it's the New York Times. Oh, New York. Well, yeah. I don't live in New York, so I, I, I guess you're supposed to know all the news that's fit to print. All okay. right, give me one. Uh, what branch, you should know this because you're all about math. Oh. What branch of mathematics involves spatial relation, is it spatial? Yeah, spatial relationships and developed before calculus and physics. I was gonna say physics, darn. Okay, before it develops before calculus and physics. What branch of mathematics involves involves spatial relationships and developed before calculus and physics? Algebra. I'll give you a hint. Geometry. <laughs> it's geometry. It is, right? It's geometry. You got it right. Oh, because I thought of space. <laughs> then, yeah. Spatial. Okay. Oh my god. I got a half point because I, I did a half. I, I, <laughs> I asked, oh my God, I can't believe I got that. It's Very geometry? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, what famous rag doll with red yarn for hair made her debut in a children's book first oh. published in 1918? Raggedy Ann. Yes, Raggedy Ann. Yes, <laughs> you know it. All right. Let's see. What? did you do if you put your foot in your mouth you said something wrong like you you misspoke or i i don't i get like doo, doo, doo. my answer would be you said something inappropriate or you misspoke or that, you let the cat out the bag i would say yeah it says you said something stupid or that you regret yeah oh i put my foot good. in my mouth on yeah the <laughs> all right okay what traditionally occurs in a Jewish wedding to conclude the ceremony? Conclude? Is it the breaking of glass? So like a, like yes. A, yeah. It says breaking of the glass. Mm -hmm. So once this happens, everyone yells. Do you know what they yell? Uh, I, uh, I forgot. It means congratulations. Mm -hmm. They yell, they yell, mazel tov. Yes. Mazel tov. And yeah, it says right. the glass is often a wine glass, but some contemporary weddings use a light bulb, mm -hmm. which is easier to break and makes more of a popping sound. So yeah. that was at the end of a traditional Jewish wedding, I guess. All right. Oh, wait. Okay. So, wait. I don't know this. I forgot. I'm not keeping score. Go ahead. Okay. How many legs do spiders have? Eight. That is correct. That's what makes them spiders, right? I think spiders. spiders. That's what makes them spiders. I don't know. Eight spiders legs? have eight legs. Like some, like sometimes when you see insects, you're like, oh, is that a spider? And it's like, no, it doesn't have eight legs. Mm. I don't know why, but that's always what I've heard. Like it matters how many legs. It makes it a spider is that it have eight legs. It's a spiders it have a lot two of legs. body segments and eight legs. Oh, okay, let's stop While about insects spiders. have three body segments and six legs. Therefore, spiders are not classified as insects. Yeah. I don't know. I don't like any of that's just too many legs on anything. <laughs> <laughs> too many legs. Okay. What Alfred <laughs> Hitchcock movie stars James Stewart as a successful photographer? 
recuperating from a broken leg and Grace Kelly as his socialite girlfriend. I didn't know this one. Oh, I don't think I know it either. I've, I've heard of the movie. I don't think I've ever seen it. It's mm -hmm. called Rear Window. That is correct. Have you seen yes. that movie? Yes. They actually made a remake. Who comes... I don't know if it was Julia Roberts or Sandra... Oh, really? One of them. They did a remake. Yeah. Really? Oh. Uh -huh. I didn't know that. I think. I'm not sure. Okay. In what ice sport does a player slide a granite stone towards a target area while two other team members assist by sweeping its path to guide its trajectory and final resting place. Is that what they're like with the broom and they're like, is it curling? Yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never Those gotten that one. Those people with the broom, yeah. they're so, they're so like, they're, and then they'll stop and then they'll, but I guess that's supposed to heat up the ice to make it yeah. slide. I don't know. Kind yeah, of, I, I don't know. That. that is the funniest game to watch, I think. <laughs> All right. What unit of measure is used to describe sound, intensity, and pressure? You have hard questions. I'm sorry. This, oh, my God. What, what, what unit of measure is used to describe sound, intensity, and pressure? And they give you a like, hint. Like, a, like sound waves? Well, they give you a hint. The symbol is lowercase d and a capital b db so think of sounds like what is that sound d and b, b? as in boy yeah d b is it dolby dolby no um, that's a good guess it's not it though it has to do with sound dolby does yeah. right no <laughs> <laughs> i have no clue it is decibel. Ah, uh, decibel. Okay. The louder the sound, the greater the pressure is placed on our hearing. So typical conversations like us, we are at 50 to 60 decibels. Hmm. Which, while levels above 70s, 70 decibel can cause hearing loss. Hmm. Maybe that's why that thing is called Dolby, right? No, it has a D and a B. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. You never know. Okay. What is the scientific term for an animal that eats both meat and plants? Yes, I would have known that one. <laughs> I don't know. Eats both meat and plants? Yes. A carnivore that eats meat? A herbivore eats, I don't know, herbivore. a regular eater? I don't <laughs> That eats both, there's a name for it. I eats mean, both? Okay, I know. And that would be us as well, because we eat both. Yeah, so I'm a carnivore and a herbivore. Put it, I'm a... Starts with an O. Om, oh, omni-eater. Omnivore. Om <laughs> omnivore. Oh, omnivore, okay. yeah. I'm an omnivore. You've heard okay. of it. Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, this you get multiple choices. Because these are getting... Yours are harder. Okay. Yeah, Which they are. Can, so there's three choices. But which Canadian province does not border the Hudson Bay? Oh my God! Quebec, British Columbia, or Manitoba? I would just say that's a guess. Oh, I would say Quebec. Quebec. Okay, wrong. Go ahead. You have two more to guess which way. It was Quebec mm -hmm. or what? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not Quebec. No, I mean Quebec and what else? What were the okay, other two so choices? your other two choices are British Columbia or Manitoba. Manitoba. Pick the two wrong ones, huh? <laughs> it is British Columbia. I don't know any of that. Oh, it says four provenance or territories border but the Hudson Bay. But I learned Hudson something new. Bay. So British Columbia does not border the Hudson Bay. Okay, I would never know that. All right, sorry. Okay, These are all see. hard for you. I'm sorry. Okay, what big band... <sighs> see, this is another easy one. <laughs> what big band leader and television variety show host had a distinct German accent despite being born and raised in North Dakota. You know this guy. Lawrence Welk? That is correct. Oh my God. Lawrence it's the Welk. Only way I, the only yes. <laughs> oh, it was either between I Lawrence so Welk or like, that who's that other guy? American Bandstand, but I knew it wasn't that guy. So. No, because okay. that doesn't have a German uh, right. I accent. I have no idea how it just went into my head. Okay. What is... Here we maybe our states and capitals have helped you. What is oh the, my god? What is the capital of Kentucky? Oh, oh, 
Oh my god. I wouldn't god. have gotten this one. Not even close. Kentucky. What is the capital of Kentucky? Oh my god, and my friends from Kentucky. It starts, you want to hit? Yes. It starts with an F. Frankfurt? Yes! <laughs> Very good! Very good! I, I would have never I gotten that. I knew I knew it. Thank nope. God. Thank you for the it's, hint. You're welcome. It says, Frontiersman Stephen Frank, Stephen Frank, Stephen Frank, was killed at a ford on the on the Kentucky River. The name Frank Fort is in homage to the place called Frank's Ford. I don't know. So a guy mm. named Frank, a frontiersman. Some guy named Frank. No, his Stephen Frank was killed. Lived and, in Kentucky. Yeah, and that's how we got the name, apparently. Mm. Okay. We each uh, have three okay. more, I think. Two or what three What did Winston Churchill say is the price of greatness? So this is actually very... The price of greatness? Freedom? Um, no, not What is Winston Churchill say is the price of greatness? I, and I totally remember this. The price of greatness? It's a quote. Insanity? No, I don't know. Responsibility. Oh, responsibility. responsibility. The quote comes from a speech Churchill gave at Harvard University on September 6, 1943. I didn't get that. Hmm. That's so weird. I just thought of Spider-Man when they, they tell him with greatness comes, gr I guess, responsibility. Yeah. I don't know. Some yeah, Spider-Man quote. quote is about that, like, if you're going to be a hero, it comes mm -hmm. with responsibility. I don't mm -hmm. know. Okay. Makes sense. Well, Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill. Okay, let's see. I know you're going to know this. In the skeletal system, what are the layman's term for phalanges? Fingers. I knew you would know that. <laughs> Fingers and toes. Fingers. Yep. Okay. Good job. Let's see. Uh, what river flows through London, England? All I thought of was the London Bridge. London Bridge is on there. Through, flows through what London, England. What river Asia? flows through London, England? Do I get a, do I get a choice? It would be, no, the river starts with a T. I would have never. I would never. Tigris? No, that's in Africa. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what is it. Is it Thames? T. It's Times. T Times. Thames. It's T H A M E S. Mm -hmm. Times. You know, I was probably even on that river. I went to London. Oh really? uh, yeah, I didn't. Oh yeah, long time ago. I didn't get that one at all. I would not have gotten that even if you gave me really? every hint available in the world. No, I wouldn't have gotten that. All right, so here you get another cho multiple choice so it's questions. One, one more, right? I have two more. I have one more. You have one more? Yes. All right. Well, I'll give you my last one. You ready? Okay. What is not multiple choice? Because I like this one. What German word do you we use for a mischievous ghost? What? What? What <laughs> German word? I didn't know it was a root. What German word uh -huh. do we use for a mischievous ghost? Think about a mischievous ghost. What would you call ghost? Uh, it's a German word. There's a movie. Casper? No. <laughs> it's mischievous. There, <laughs> there's a whole movie made out from this word. Uh, old movie. Don't go into the light. Go into the light. Are you talking about poltergeist? Yeah. Really? Did you know that's a German word? No. It is. Really? It says oh, tell poltergeist. Me about it. Poltergeist. The phrase translates to noisy ghost. I didn't know that was a German word. And probably because of the television, because it was what do they call it? The like white sound? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. The sound and that's where the little girl was on the mm -hmm. television. Right the, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Nosy a poltergeist is a no, noisy ghost. Noisy. Mm -hmm. Makes a lot of noise. Ooh. I never knew it was a German word. Okay. All right, we learn something new again. Every day. Okay, what is the name of the cuddly little bear all stuffed with fluff that was created by A.A. A. Milne? A-M-I-L-N-E. Is it Milne? Milner? No, it's M-I-L-N-E. Very well known. It's a stuffed cuddly bear. Oh, a stuffed cuddly bear. Um. Oh, 
Oh, I know this bear. Ha ha Pendleton. No. Pen oh, what's it start with? Where's the red sweater? Oh, Pooh Bear? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Where's the red sweater? I thought it was that other guy, that Pendleton. Oh, the Pooh Bear uh -huh. was made by who? You're talking about Paddington Bear? Paddington Bear, that's what I meant. Yeah. But Pooh Bear? And Pooh oh. Bear. Oh. Well, like I said, there are random trivia questions mm -hmm. as we went from What's Pooh the last Bear one? to... Oh, you want one more? Ooh, that's the last okay, one. in what city is the oldest zoo in Australia? Oh, my God. You have three choices. Sydney, Melbourne, or Perth. I've never been Let's, to Australia. I know, but you tried a trivia last... Or a multiple choice, and uh -huh. you didn't get it. So, here we go. Sydney, <laughs> Melbourne, or Perth has the oldest zoo in Australia. Is it in Sydney, Melbourne, or Perth? Melbourne? Yes, she got it. She got it. You had a, uh, you had a, what do you call one in three chance. Good job. Good job. Yeah, the zoo time. opened October 1862, and, but its location in the city has changed three times over the years and is currently found in Royal Park. Never Ooh. been to Australia. One Did of my, I? one of my bucket lists I would love to. So, mm -hmm. I want to thank you guys for joining us for today's trivia. Mm -hmm. We are outside. It's bundled freezing. up because it is freezing right we now gotta go. <laughs> in San Diego. But we wanted to come outside. We wanted to change our scenery a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's always good to get outside. But to go outside today where we live, we needed to bundle up. Mm -hmm. Right? Not that, not that it's the coldest place on earth. Right? No, not even close. Not even close <laughs> to being the coldest place on earth. But it is cold. So thank you for joining us. Like I did, was saying earlier, it is very random trivia. Mm -hmm. We were all over the place with it. Sometimes that's good. It jogs memories yep. and it brings back ideas. I don't know. It just gets you thinking. You learn something new. And you learn Always something new. Always say that. <laughs> Always.